Noon, we begin with a story that should come as no surprise. The French Quarter Festival has announced it's officially canceled for 2020. Also canceled is the Satchmo Summerfest. We first broke this story online this morning. Our Tan Trong has the latest in this development. The head of the organization that puts on both Summer Satchmo Fest and French Quarter Fest says in 37 years they've never had to cancel an entire season. But these are unprecedented times, and many businesses and organizations are having to make painful decisions. And that pain is trickling down to the estimated 1,700 local jobs that will be lost because of the cancellation. We're talking about restaurants, vendors, and local musicians. The head of the French Quarter Festival says they had to consult with the city in making this decision, and they felt it was impossible to put on both events this year. Unfortunately, we realize that at this point, uh, we're not going to be able to host the events that we had planned in October uh, and August. We're following our city's direction um, and our health officials and just making sure to always consider you know, the, the health implications of our staff, our fans, our visitors. French Quarter Fest alone brought in an economic impact of more than $200 million last year. The head of both events say they're confident they'll be back next year. Tom Trung, Eyewitness News. French Quarter Fest is among the last to make this decision. Jazz Fest, Voodoo Fest, Buku Fest all decided they would not have festivals in 2020. Oxner Hospital in conjunction with Orleans and Jefferson Parishes are launching a COVID-19 prevalence study. The, they hope that it'll give a more accurate picture of the spread of the coronavirus in the two neighboring parishes. It'll be a groundbreaking study that'll target specific areas of both Orleans and Jefferson rather than simply random texting, uh, testing rather. Joining us via Skype right now is Dr. Leo Swanee, who is the Chief Academic Officer with Oxner Health. Thank you for joining us, doctor. And exactly how is this study gonna work? Um. Thank you, Eric. Well, as, as you know, there are many more people that have been infected with the virus uh, than actually seek care or have tested positive. So even though in Orleans and Jefferson, there's been about 6,000 in each parish that have tested positive for COVID, we know that the actual people that have been infected are a lot more. So what we do with this study is to find out what that number really is, is we create a mini Orleans and a mini Jefferson parish, and we represent all of the citizens in a much smaller number. So that's race, ethnicity, geographic location, age. And with that distribution of Jefferson and Orleans, we can test 2,500 uh, people and understand what is the true prevalence? How, how far has it spread throughout our community? And which groups in particular? Uh, are we seeing more in the Hispanic communities, the African-American communities, which which neighborhoods, and that can help our parish officials really and our public health officials really kind of strategize and target how do we work to fight this virus. And I assume the best way to describe this is when, when they do polling to see which candidate is doing what they, they do in specific areas, targeted areas, not just a random survey. And this is kind of what you're doing here. That, that's exactly right. Um, we, we actually are using database from the census to understand the breakdowns of all of our neighborhoods throughout. And so I don't need to ask, the, like in a poll, ask the question of everybody in that neighborhood, but if I have a few in that neighborhood, they will represent the neighborhood. And we're almost out of time, but, but this is, a, this is a, a test that'll be more than just blood or swab, it'll be both, you know, so up the nose and plus blood. That, that's correct. So the antibody test will tell me anybody who had been infected in the past, and as you know, Eric, in March, there wasn't much testing going around, so it was a lot of people exposed that never got tested. And then the nasal pharyngeal swab will tell me if you're shedding virus and infected right now. All right, doctor, thank you very much. And this begins when? It begins today, testnola.org. Uh, you can go on and register. I'm asking all the public in Orleans and, and uh, Jefferson to register at testnola.org. And then you may or may not be selected based on you registering. But the more people register, and, and we're really looking for healthy people to register, the better the test, uh, the, the study will be. All right, thank you, doctor. We appreciate that, and good luck on that. The latest numbers from the Louisiana Department of Health are out, and uh, there are more than 30,652 cases of coronavirus across Louisiana. 
That's 253 more than we had yesterday. There are now 2,135 deaths. That's 41 more since yesterday. There is some encouraging news. The number of people in the hospital went down. This, however, is not encouraging. The amount of people on ventilators went up slightly. Many of you got an alert from Jefferson Parish this morning regarding COVID-19 testing available at the Alario Center and low, low wait times. Well, apparently the alert worked. Less than an hour later, the parish tweeted out that the site was closed for the day. It'll open again tomorrow at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Jefferson Parish officials will hold a news conference at 1 this afternoon to give an update on COVID-19. We, of course, will stream that live on our digital platforms, and we plan to ask them why that notice was sent out as an emergency alert. The first mobile COVID-19 testing site is open in New Orleans East. That happened this morning. It's at the Franklin Avenue Baptist Church. You have to enter on the Lake Forest side if you want to get tested. The site is open until 3 this afternoon or until they run out of their tests. The tests are only available for adults at that site in the east. 